Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. I was trained many times to say good afternoon because my presentation was planned after the break, uh, after the lunch, but it's okay just now. So, good morning and respect to all of you. So, uh, uh, I have an idea to talk about the implementation of modern principles of site management and using innovative tools and technologies which we're trying to invent and implement uh, on site level. And uh, I'm gratitude and pleased to organize us of this meeting for opportunity to discuss it with you because we performed this activity within the last 17 years here in Ukraine. And uh, I believe that uh, it is very important in general because, uh, you know, we discuss in many questions uh, related for clinical trials, but the site level uh, is the final po point which may ensure lack of su or success of performance of clinical trials. Like you know, you remember last week, Anfield Road in Liverpool, 22 guys play in Barcelona versus Liverpool and they create these results. They created this event like the final point of huge competitions and so on. So the site and site level, they also ensure will the study be finally successful or it will be unlucky and so on and so on. So we all of us trying to reach these successes, but how can it be possible? How the challenges which uh, appear during the daily work on site level uh, may be resolved and so on and so on. Uh, another question, you know, so it is rather simply to resolve all issues and all questions if you are talking about one trial, one patient, maybe so and, uh, but if you have hundreds of patients, dozens of trials, uh, many, uh, many sponsors and so on, and uh, so the process uh, is, uh, became much more difficult. And that's why I'm talking about that, how to be effective in uh, overloaded uh, uh, environment, in overloaded uh, um, pressure, let's say, and uh, all about that. So. Uh, this is the main uh, topics which I want to discuss. Uh, I will not read everything. Uh, please uh, take uh, to take a look for the screen. So, but uh, the main questions I want to uh, inform you about the challenges and how we are overcoming uh, all of them. So, I want to talk about the site like the uh, complex enterprise because uh, normally site are small unit. So, but in some places, in some cases, it is rather huge uh, organization, let's say, and the principles how to manage it, how to do it, seems are very important and I'd like to share. And of course, to talk about solutions, uh, how it could be. So, uh, site as medium uh, size business unit. What I am talking about, normally the site consists from three till seven till 10 persons, so uh, uh, maximum. However, we know the sites, for example, like our one is consist of 100 employers. So it is medium sized enterprise and which challenges and what problems appear when we are trying to do it. So I'd like to share some things about that. Uh, I believe that if we want to prevent mistakes, if we want to prevent uh, unlucky events and uh, something like that, it necessary to control all events. Is it possible? Is it able? If we have dozens of events, dozens of uh, points to be controlled, so is it really possible? I want to talk about that. It is necessary to coordinate all kinds of our site activities, one point for discussion. So I believe now we feel the or let's say even professional burnout syndrome for all those who are involved in trials because we are working very intensively. And I believe that it is necessary to build this site like comfortable, uh, comfortable working space and working place uh, to take care about the employees, about this stuff and how to ensure it. I want to, to, to discuss this question. So, I want to think about clinical site future and prospects uh, and innovations and the way how to develop our process, all, all of that. And of course, to share with you some of our solutions which we uh, just realized and came to. 
So this is the picture of traffic jam, which was a few years ago published uh, uh, like the largest traffic jam which ever appeared. It is near Benin, China, a uh, few years ago, and the uh, uh, length of this uh, of uh, this uh, line was 100 kilometers. Why it happened? Because somewhere seems over there was the narrow place, and based on that, everything stopped. So in trials, we may face with let's say similar situation when we have some barriers well we will not detect them in time we will think how it may be uh, influenced for for results and so on and so on well mm -hmm. so a few words about us so we are located in ukraine in dipro city at 1000 facility beds hospitals uh, um, where the oncological units are uh, the main point of our activity and the staff which uh, consists of 100 employers so uh, this is uh, our site so uh, mm, this special uh, site I prepared to show the countries with let's say similar uh, amount of people uh, population like Ukraine Poland Spain uh, Russia is little bit more and uh, here is mainly the professionals in clinical trials era, our foreign guests. So, and I want to say, we, we now are in a situation when Ukraine's uh, number of participants and sites and so on is two, three, five times and sometimes even more less than in comparison with European countries. So, on the, if we are on the way of our development, it obligatory will happen that the uh, overloading of the business of clinical trials will increase. And we have to be ready how overcome in these uh, events the increasing tension for business, for process, for quality, for all of that. Uh, and a uh, few words about us and these figures uh, just demonstrate we are involved in clinical trials within 17 years, so now 300. 52 trials uh, contracts agreement were signed and more than 4,000 patients were enrolled before this time uh, and uh, you see the main figures so mm, the uh, main feature of the sign is we're working in intensive environment having hundreds thousands of patients employers and so on and we faced with challenges uh, how these problems uh, may be first to be detected and after that to be realized. Well, so um, last, uh, this is the second conference and uh, I want to refresh some of your knowledge. Uh, these questions were discussed at the previous conference. So I have presentation, thank you for organizers. And so uh, you see that uh, this is the main point with which we discussed uh, two years ago. Uh, so uh, at the same time, we, we had shown the solutions, possible solutions. One of them, what to train. We are many times talking about trials. It's necessary to better train the staff and everybody and so on. The question is, what to train, what about, and so on and so on. Uh, which principles of clinical trials on organization, uh, conduction, and maintenance must be used in the process of clinical trials performance. But this is the new one, the new thing, which I added to last year presentation. So. I pay your attention because I believe it's absolutely new and absolutely critical. So these things are absolutely unacceptable. And I will not make so huge comments, but please pay attention for all of that. This is the issues which are really so strongly negatively, absolutely negatively influenced for the industry business absolutely unacceptable and must be totally excluded. So if we do not overcome it, nothing to be discussed any more time, okay? Well, so just now a few words about the site like medium site, uh, medium size business unit. Uh, so we have to think how to organize business process. I'd like to say, dear colleagues, for you that, um, especially for this order, auditory, I, uh, I created and uh, write down and ask all these questions because you have a smart wits, you, oh, sorry, you have smart understanding of the problem and first of all it's necessary to say and I try to just now to ask this question for all of us, however at the same time I can say stress and prove that 
We have our own solution for all the questions which are over here. We have no enough time for that to discuss all details. However, I'll try at the end of this presentation to show some solutions, but we have absolutely clear understanding how it may be done on site level, on site level. So uh, how to organize process. So the great uh, new challenge is about the contracts and negotiation about the process of contracts agreement. So it sounds like um, written questions which we discuss all the time. However, now absolutely new challenge appeared in the process of contract agreement. Uh, I want to inform you that it must be absolutely separated at CRO level at companies when you just provide uh, the version of in, uh, um, contracts for the site. It must be excellently differentiated the duties uh, of the hospital, of universities, so of the investigation and so on and so on. You, we are at the events when more and more private practices and private hospitals are added, included to the process of clinical trials. We are aware about that external and local vendors are more and more include for the process like laboratory, CT centers, MRI centers, let's say, and others. And the, if the contracts agreement will be unlucky or with some mistakes, you are a lawyer and you just uh, know maybe about that. If we will have some mistakes, let's say, with the formulation of duties of all these sites, we may be under the pressure of uh, taxes services and, and taxes administration in case of these mistakes. That's why I want to pay special attention for importance of this process. So. Another question, for example, how to the new one, the new one, how to avoid the mistakes in payment performance. Dear colleagues, all of you, like companies, like investigators, I'd like to say, fortunately, uh, except of some of us, like me, for example, nobody else from the side level know about these issues. You, like business uh, professionals, may be better aware about that. But the problem which more and more will be important just now is that, dear colleagues, now, now um, uh, about the payment, I mean uh, that, mm, a few seconds, how, uh, how to say it better, uh, the uh, mode of payment process considerably changes just now. If previous years uh, we have only the main procedures which were all calculated by, by CROs and nothing more and the site trust and was not involved into this process. Now it's absolutely different situation, more similar for European and American uh, mode of uh, work with invoicing of procedures which were performed. And at the site level, it's necessary to be aware and to, to hold the special service which will hold in accountability additional procedures which now must be paid at the site level. Unfortunately, more and more cases when we faced with situation when payment was done not in time, when different uh, difficult negotiation are be uh, performed, and when external special companies should prepare their prepare the documents, and you might must be in communication at the site level, the people are still not ready for these challenges. They appear that necessary to be announced and it necessary to train all of us and so on. I know what to do and how to uh, this may be uh, realized. Another question from that. If you have dozens of trials, if you have uh, hundreds of patients or even you have some dozens of patients, I just calculated, we create the special library of procedures which may be taken into account for payment process. You know how many of these procedures in general library of the site level is 85 just now, 85 procedures which from time to time are performing on site. Please make sure that dozens of patients, dozens of trials, hundreds of them, uh, dozens of procedures and all of that. And it is really a great challenge because a correct payment process, it really, you know, uh, nothing was not invented. It, uh, it must be clear, it must be uh, transparent, and so on and so on. Well, as I said, all procedures on site, I believe, must be controlled. So, how it may be done? First of all, it's necessary to plan all kinds of activities. 
I see 10 minutes, so yes, sure, I will try to accelerate. It's necessary to plan all kinds of activities. It's necessary to track in all events and uh, uh, take them into account. So it's necessary to have statistical reports on site level. So um, PI should be aware about all of that, but it is possible only in the case if it has electronic support systems which are reliable for the site level. Uh, the question is, are we aware, are we know about commercially available systems which are not so good? So I know that it is a great, pro all the sites and majority of sites, let's say here, maybe at West Country is different, they work in manually without support of computerized system because they are not commercially available and they were not created. So uh, it is necessary to coordinate all kinds of activities. Uh, it was very good uh, information in previous report how to promote patients' recruitment. It's a great challenge. It's necessary to think about of that. So how to ensure uh, in-time performance completion of screening procedures. So it's necessary because screening uh, often is very different, sometimes unlucky, so maybe influence for that. This is the question. So. Uh, is it possible? It, it's possible to save the drugs. Is it possible to uh, spend uh, to increase the, the time which physician will uh, spend for the patients? Very important questions and uh, others. If I have no so much time, I will just accelerate myself. So, but please pay attention when I'm talking about. Please read and uh, listen to, and. Uh, if we are talking about modern site, it must be really uh, industry, like business, like CRO, because uh, are physicians aware about FTP server? They are know about the data encryption and so on, about patient transportation, courier service companies uh, coordination, all these questions related for clinical trial site. The process of fee reimbursement, insurance companies, negotiations. We have unfortunately negative experience of these communications with insurance companies. It, all these questions, I believe, should be discussed at the start of the trial. And that's why very important procedures mu must be done and principles of these procedures at study initiation visit. And the strategy of work of the site at the initiation seems is very important. So information about meeting, travel management, tickets, hotels. So I do believe that the role of site management organization is really increasing for just now for powerful site. So we have like PIs and organizers of business think about psychological aspects of the site, about the emotional burnout, about career advancement because people who work in 10, 15 years at the same place, you know they suffered from, they really wish something new or like uh, other. You have to uh, think about it. Salary, salary as a motivation factor. It is uh, simple, seems, but we have to understand the markers for these motivations. We have to uh, really to support industrious and active work and to punish for mistakes or maybe some like that influence for this uh, process and that's, uh, that's all. The new question, the new idea to involve CRAs, the monitors, for site efficacy negotiation, commu communication with PI and site support. We know how it may be done. We implement it in on-site level. So um, uh, future of clinical trials. I believe that all what I mentioned, so it may be realized using clinical trial site management system, which are obligatory and necessary for site level. We had created within the last five years such a powerful system. It works on our site and due to all of that, these results which I have shown are really possible. So, and that's why the question is, which number of trials, which number of patients for one person on site is really possible to perform? We have 300 patients, we have, we have 100 employers. You may calculate, but 25, 30 of them are only physicians. All other is supportive staff for performance of the clinical trials and so on. Uh, how to train the staff using modern electronic system. It is the new one things and it is necessary to do. So uh, may this electronic system uh, ensure condition when everything will be not, uh, not so difficult, but much more simple. This is the question. So uh, can tablets be used like the storage for source documents? One of the questions. So uh, this is, uh, 
important points which must be taken into account when we are talking about this system. Confidentiality of personal data, its obligatory must be realized. Interfaces of electronic system and a site team. Uh, this system have to ensure a proper site staff rating because if you will know how are um, rating your site employees, you will be much better honest in the process of all uh, kinds of your activity. Uh, time and control of all study activities. It sounds strangely, but what I think now we have such opportunities. Let's compare it with airport system. If all the process will be in your systems, so you have opportunity to read, to scan QR code, and it immediately will, nobody will print manually or something to do, only to scan QR code and to receive the results of performance of these procedures and so on. Now we're on the way when clinical trials may be without ECRFs. So last presentation, I had showed uh, this uh, picture, this slide. It was our previous inventions which we used at site level at which we are using for few last years. So technical, organizational and other principles. So it is uh, also innovative approaches was shown last time. Uh, the distinctive feature, you see what different uh, participants, uh, laboratories, parts of the site activity are involved into this work and which systems are um, used. This has been new innovation which we are using within the last two years. So the increasing of monitor role in improving quality of work, we have found how it may be done. Honestly, simply with interest of monitors and site level and so on. Control of time frames. I mentioned about QR code scanning and everything must be controlled. Information about the problem with screening in randomization. If you have 25, 30 trials, so you have to be aware absolutely automatically about time frames from the last screening, from last randomization, from the number of screened patients for every trial, and you will detect lucky or unlucky trials, and you will know absolutely correctly for which studies you should influence to ensure results and so on. It may be done with a clinical trial site management system. So automatic formation of invoices for insurer payment. As I said uh, in the, at the beginning of my presentation, it is great new challenge, which is not clear for many people just now on site level. However, if you will plan all kinds of activity, if you will control performance of all of that, you will have opportunity to give the order for your system to create automatic invoices for main procedures and for uh, the uh, non-obligatory procedures for some other procedure. You will know everything automatically. So it, this is the very good important thing. And you will have opportunity at site level to give this information to your uh, sponsors and say, okay, this is for your payment, please. Uh, please compare. Uh, it, it must be realized and so on. So it may create absolutely new condition for staff motivation and so on. And if we will control uh, the, so who, are, who may be involved into this process very simply and shortly. So if we will be involved into this process, another point is based on this systematic uh, um, uh, software, uh, software um, innovations, uh, the draft of medical, uh, medical chat, medical diaries may be created with absolutely possible exclusion of loss of information. We may just now create the special electronic tool like the draft in paper mode, you know. When we create any draft, we know that we will not lose any information. However, so we know how to create it based on the electronic documents not coming to the electronic uh, records because, you know, paper documents and electronic records is absolutely different in legislation, in other things and so on. And here many I just completed and uh, maybe two, three minutes and that, that is it. So, but it is possible to uh, have an all control to uh, envir uh, environment ensure very high quality information without loss of any data, which is critical for clinical trials. As I said, 85 events are in our library. So this is the picture of our control tool and clinical trial site management system. You see, this is the folders which cover the uh, site main uh, units which are involved to the site. 
I'll show this one. Uh, this is still confidential because we are at the time when it will be uh, really commercial maybe and so on. However, this is the page. Please pay attention. I am PI. You, some of you uh, also are PIs. This is the folder, 31 folders, which uh, I operate in the process of site management from PI side. I previously showed 10 for all units. This one for PI. Please, I will not read, it is in Russian and so on. Uh, please pay attention for how many things should hold PI in his hand when he wants to manage site and to be effective. So uh, this is the some interfaces of our clinical child management uh, system. It shows many things from the monitors, visits, from the uh, uh, duration of working time of this staff, from the screening process, from percentage of performing procedures, from uh, the uh, uh, um, uh, <coughs> time from the last screening and randomization and some others. So this information, how I can control screening uh, activity and know about trials and about uh, uh, the estimated time frames for enrollment of the patient and so on. This is the results of uh, all laboratory and all units, how they work and uh, automatically calculated average time of all procedures. It is really working on our side. We are proud of that. We created. We do not share this information still yet, but we know that maybe a few months after that we will uh, really are able to show it for our society. So we, wa we wanted to, uh, to, to know, is it able, may it be work, like we testing the medication in clinical trials. If you have huge site, you may test it, the process uh, of performance clinical trials. One of our amateur, let's say, really amateur activities, but results you see over here, to test management system and so on. All what is done on site is automatically see on screen on the results and so on. Uh, I am solidary with my previous speakers about the need of a media support of our process and uh, site management process. Site TV, this is a very short abbreviation, sitetv.net, our website and our YouTube channel. And uh, it really can uh, support opportunity when you work in industriously. So this is one of the results of our, it's not my personal, how it's with my, my name, but this is 303 international in English language publication, which are results of clinical trials, which were on our site and so on and so on. This is the uh, Facebook uh, pictures, uh, Facebook uh, page and Sometimes it helps us in uh, finding the new patient. This is the YouTube channel, like the part of the uh, media support site process and so on. This is the information about the website which we have. So I wanted to complete to finish with all this data because I believe that uh, it is necessary to be, uh, you know, to take wide look for all events what we are doing, to treat the patient, because I'm a professor of oncology, but I was talking about you not any touching the anything what I am professional, I was talking uh, where I am amateur. So if we will be amateur at this level and professional where we should be professional, I think it will be a very successful story of clinical trials. Thank you for your